Alright guys, so in this video we're looking at translating words to math. So we're going to apply this later on in the class when we get to the algebra section, but just for now getting familiar with translating from words to math um, to set up critical thinking with our word problems. So I went through and I made an example for each of them. So any number that you see inside this plus sign is going to alert you that the operation is going to be addition. So here's an example. Five more than a number is 21. So more than is going to be addition. A number, we're just going to let be any variable, typically n or x. And so I will have five more than plus a number x is 21 equals 21. Now we'll learn what to do with that later in this video. We're just looking at getting it set up. So five more than a number is 21. Five plus X is 21 or equals 21. Any of the numbers inside this are going to alert you to subtraction. So our example is the difference of two numbers X and Y is one. So the difference is going to be subtraction. And what am I subtracting? X and Y. So I've got X minus Y. And then they have is 1. So equals 1. Okay. Division. Any number inside of that is going to alert you for division. A number divided by 8 is 32. So I've got a number divided by is going to be division. So n or x divided by 8 equals 32. Okay, twice a number is 100. Twice times product of multiple. Another one we can add in here is tripled. That means three times. Quadrupled, four times. Um, twice is definitely going to be the most common one you see, though. So twice a number is 100. Twice a number is going to mean two times the number x is 100. And I can write this as just 2x equals 100. Is, we've seen all up there. Um, the most common thing for equal is going to be is, but it could be total um, all together now. But again, most of them are just going to be is. Um, are and will be are just different tenses and were of is. All right, parentheses words. So our example, four times the sum of a number and four. So four times, and I'm timesing the sum of a number and four. So I'm going to have the four times on the outside. And my parentheses are going to be the sum of. A number in four, so x plus four. And then close out that parenthesis. Now, here are the two that most people get hung up on. I call them turnaround words because they are going to reverse the order. And it's always going to be reverse the order with subtraction. So less than and subtracted from. And so here's our example. A number less than 21 is 14. So I've got that less than. I like to put the caution symbol that turnaround word. So what that means is 21 is going to come up front and a number 
is going to go to the back, and then I still have is 14. Less than and subtracted from are our turnaround words. Big, giant caution on this. Because a lot of students will get this order backwards. And like I said, we'll be going into this later on when we get into the algebra section, but just to introduce it so that we have a basis going forward.